I look to all a very good morning to all of you. As in our journey of prayers this year, today I would like to join you, me and my wife. We're going to be praying for you that have been through a betrayal. And if you have not, let us pray that you never go through that pain. It's almost an unbearable pain that one faces when uh, this person suffers the betrayal. You cannot even consider a betrayal when it's somebody that you don't know. So the closest the person is to you, the more, the more intimate the person is to you, the harder the pain. And many people, unfortunately, they are going through this, betraying their love life, husband betraying wife, and wife betraying husband, friendships that there is betrayed, even inside of the families, among his brothers, parents, and children. Let us pray then on this matter. If you have a prayer mat, if you don't have, you can go on your knees and join us in this prayer as we are praying on our knees this whole year of 2022. When we are on our knees, we cannot fall. We are standing before the problems and folding our knees, going on our knees before the Lord. Let us do it and pray so. Please, close your eyes there, please. Father Lord, we join in prayer now on our knees on behalf of all those who are going through, have been through the pain of the betrayal. My Lord, many marriages are failing apart. Many families are being destroyed because of this break of trust, because of the betrayals that they have been through. And maybe this person who joined us in the prayer is even the one who is betraying their love, their love partner. This, this is the one that is betraying their brothers. And they know they are doing something that is harming them. They know they are destroying their relationships by doing so. And they are looking for strength to come clean. They are looking for strength to change their behaviors. So, Father, there is no impossible for you, Lord Jesus. So help this person who wants to have a change of attitude. That this ear wants to change completely. Wants to stop being an untrustworthy person who wants to become a more strong person in their character because they have break their character, they have destroyed it with their past behaviors. Father, help also those who are facing this pain to get over it, to clean their hearts, not to keep the grudges, the hatred, the anger against the person that betrayed them. I know this is very difficult to say, but they need to have their hearts pure. They need to have their hearts cleansed. So help this person to cleanse their hearts, I pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus, above all, Lord, there is no words that can comfort a person who goes through such a pain. So you can comfort them with your touch, with your love, and make this woman, this man who have been betrayed whole once more. This person who have been shattered, have been broken into pieces, you can make them as a whole once more. So we bless you, dear friends. Receive the strength. Let when you stand up after this prayer, you have the strength to keep on going, to cleanse your heart. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bless you. And you that believe and agree, say, Amen. Let's, that's it. Let's. Well, you can join us every morning from 8 a.m. Every morning from Monday to Friday, you can pray together with us. And also on Sunday and even on Thursdays, on every Thursdays, we have our love therapy, our love seminar, what works to heal the heart. There is a lot of, uh, let's say, it's a process to cure a person who has been betrayed. And we are working on Thursdays, 6 p.m., Right now, in the middle of the pandemic, online services on 6 p.m. If you want, you can get in touch with us to get the link to watch this amazing service. We will help you a lot. Also, you can book an appointment with me, with my wife, with both of us. 
and we are here to help. There are maybe couples who watch this prayer, and they say, can we save our marriage? Can we save our relationship? And we are here ready to help. Whatever is your decision to continue going with marriage, to try to fix it, we are here. If you are alone, if you've been divorced, if you've been betrayed and you are by yourself, we are here to help also. Get in touch with us. We are here ready to guide you uh, in prayers spiritually and also giving you a device that will be very precious for you not to suffer once more and to stop suffering once and for all about your relationship. God bless all of you. See you tomorrow.